All right, look what we got here today. 1974, I believe, Kawasaki S2 350. Two stroke, three cylinder, and it's in real rough shape. It's gonna need a lot of work. Everything from straightening the handlebar that got bent, fixing the headlight, replacing tachometer and speedometer cables, probably needs an engine rebuild, gonna need the chassis to be repainted because this is a homemade paint job that doesn't look too good, a new tail light, probably gonna need a new seat cover eventually. So right now what I'm gonna focus on is just trying to get it running, get a first run out of it before I get to all that other work. So let's start. I already know about it is it has no spark. So I'm going to work on getting it to spark up. So to get a good look at the wiring, I'm going to pull the gas tank off. I had to snip the fuel lines off, the old crusty fuel lines get this to come free. And got it off of there. You can see the original color of the bike I think on the bottom. Okay now I can get a look at the wiring stuff. So I was looking at some wiring diagrams and I'm going to try a couple things including I'm going to try recharging the battery which means I have to refill the electrolytes here. So for the sake of quickness, I'm actually going to hook up a separate battery that I have over here. So I have a good battery connected now, and that doesn't help. So the next thing I'm going to do is tear into this ignition switch assembly and see if there's something wrong in the wiring. You got that out. Okay, it looks like uh, I did something right anyway. I don't know what that is. It's a headlight switch right there. <coughs> Horn works. <coughs> Let's see if it's going to have spark then. So now that it's got spark, I'm going to start dealing with getting the throttles unstuck and cleaning the carburetors. So uh, I'm going to pull off each one of these carburetors. Ow! Which are already loose, even though they're tightened up on here. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, but I'm going to get each one of these pulled off and make sure they're clean. The choke was loose already. So for starters, I'm going to drop the bowl here. So as you can see, there's some pretty gross crap in there. Makes me wonder if the jet is plugged up in the carburetor here. Hold it up to light and see if it is. Well, both jets are perfectly clean and nice, so that's a very good sign. And the gasket on there isn't too bad either, but I'll be replacing that eventually. I'm just going to have to get all that crap out of the bottom of here. And since 
this is for testing purposes only. I'm not too worried about getting everything completely perfect. I just want to get it clean enough to use it. So. I know this was a rather simple cleaning here. I'm not going for getting everything perfect yet. Just going to see if I can't get it to fire up with some basic cleaning. At least it's easier than doing it on an airplane. Alright, so I've got the carburetors put back on. Now I just got to start throwing everything back together and then we'll rig up a throttle device and hopefully be able to take it for a short test ride. So you can see here, since the throttle was damaged, I came up with a quick, simple, homemade throttle made out of a bicycle handle, or a bicycle brake handle, and basically just does that. And the springs aren't really working so well right now, so I have to return it myself. But that's how I'm going to use the throttle for testing purposes. And let's see. Next, I'm going to get the seat and the gas tank back on and put some gas in the tank and hook up the fuel lines.
All right, well, let's see if I can get it to fire up. Alright, so it doesn't seem to want to start quite yet, so I think that I'm going to call this the end of part one, and we're going to do a part two of Will It Run. <clears throat> I'm not defeated yet, I still have a few more things left to do to get it running. For one thing, the chokes on all the carburetors are frozen, and I'm betting I could get it to fire up if I could actually free the chokes. So that's one thing. Another thing, this carburetor on this side was leaking like crazy. It was leaking fuel all over, so I'm going to have to re-gasket that one. And... Um, then there's a few little things left to button up. We'll do that in the next episode, so make sure to tune in next time for the next uh, part of this. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.